Okay, here we are. Unboxing the Mark III from Virtual Rifle Systems. Uh, this is the box that it came in, and I started to open it and unbox it, uh, but then I figured I should record this because I haven't recorded this because I haven't seen anybody unbox this before um, or anybody even demo this before. So we'll start with the unboxing, then maybe we'll go to the demo. Okay, now first of all, I was really surprised that this came in uh, a square box. So of course, I assume that there's gonna be quite a bit of assembly required. What I'm replacing is this Dead Eye VR gun stock that I got on eBay for about 90 bucks, I believe. But as you can see, I have it all taped up so that it can be stabilized and so that the controllers don't slip out of the cup holders. And of course I want to be able to have the magnetic holders be at the top of the gun stock instead of the bottom. So we're gonna see, oh, I have these, no, I don't have these cups. So we're gonna see what our replacement looks like. We got that. Uh, oh, they have a nice note. Look at that. Aw, Denise, okay. Thank you for being so awesome. Hanging in there with us, Daniel. We apologize for the delay, but we're so thankful for your patience and support. We hope you enjoy gaming with your new toy. Oh, <laughs> and actually, it definitely is a new toy for me. So, uh, oh, that showed my address, so we'll not do that again, or I'll just blur it or something like that. But yeah, so we have, cool, okay. So I'll put this up here. Alright, so first thing, what is this? Not sure. Let's just take everything out. Okay. Put it on the table. This is exciting. Oh, that's my strap. My sling. And that must just be the bottom padding. Let's see if there's anything in here oh that is just padding. okay cool so this is the whole thing wow okay so this looks like maybe this is the butt it is oh oh that feels nice let's see what is okay we'll play with that later to see how that works i think this maybe slides down i don't know we'll figure it out but here's the buttstock. Wow, that feels so high quality. And I have the other buttstock for, for this thing, the buttstock that goes on here. Um, does that fit? Oh, I bet you that fits, maybe, I don't know. But it's, uh, it's just a regular, um, it's like a plastic molding of an M16 uh, buttstock. I think that's what they're called, right? And here is the barrel. Ooh. Feels like nice, strong plastic. That pushes in and slides. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Okay, so this must be where the front controller. Oh, locks in. I like that. It locks in the place as you slide it. I like that. Yeah, so it doesn't move. Okay, because one issue I had with this is that I had to tape it so that it wouldn't move. It wouldn't slide forward and backward uh, because no matter how tight I tighten these, uh, it still would slide. So that's hence the tape. Now, I wanted to use black tape. I didn't have it at the moment. I wanted to play right now. So great tape. So it looks a mess. Uh, what I did here, though, is that this doesn't have these manual adjusters, but I mean, if it's a better gun stock, then I don't care. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Let's make sure everything can be seen. Oh, that had something in it I needed. I'll have to go back down and get that. Ah, uh, okay, so this clips onto the controllers, I believe. And so I think this is probably all 
one unit for one one of the controllers. So move this out of the way. And uh, this opens up somehow. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't have the uh, the manual adjustment. So you have to have a tool, I believe, to adjust that and up, open and close that. So this looks like this may have been 3D printed. Like this. Okay, these are different. This is nice and smooth. Okay, this was not 3D printed. This is rubber. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, this is rubber. Okay. Yeah, this is super high quality over here. This also doesn't look like it's been 3D printed. It looks like, uh, I think, what, the injection molding, maybe? Okay, but this is a little different. This feels 3D printed, much like this entire thing from the Deadeye VR, except for this part right here. This is carbon fiber. Okay, uh, yes, also 3D printed. We'll put these right there. Wow, this doesn't have much to it, does it? Okay, so this and this does not feel, this also feels injection, injection molded and high quality, super high quality. So we'll figure out how to put that together. And uh, maybe I'll do that in front of you. And here is the piece. I believe these are just the uh, fasteners. Ooh, ooh that's pretty cool. Oh, it's the tool. So it's the tool and a fastener. Some kind of bolt with wings on the side to adjust. So this, so this is going to be manual. This is going to be you're going to be able to finger tighten this instead of using a tool. And so this is the tool that comes uh, with it to adjust what I'm assuming is this, oh, it does go there, does it go here, oh, is that magnetic? It's magnetic, the tool is magnetic, oh, oh, that, duh, this is, is the magnets in there, see, I always assume that the magnet would be in here, wait a minute, wait a minute, this can't, see, I'm going to need another one of those, so, we'll figure that out. For, you know, so I need, so this is for the front of the controller. Oh, never mind. The back is right there. So I thought these were magnets. Uh, magnets. I'm assuming they are. Duh, there's magnets in both. There's magnets in here. And in this. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Nice adhesion there. Okay. So we'll figure that out. But this is basically it is what you get so now let's figure out oh actually this is extra so this was extra and uh, these these also don't come with the rifle okay so this is what clips to your controllers Ooh. So these are clipped to your controllers for the front and the back. I don't know if I have that right, but uh, I don't know if I have the back and the front right, but that's essentially what these do is clip your controllers. So it does not come with these two things and the strap. So that was extra. All right, now let's put this together for you and see if we can figure that out. And then maybe I can shoot a demo. Okay, so putting together, let's move the controllers out of the way first. Uh, let's just rearrange this in the way that it should be. So I believe well, this is the butt. Uh, these go to the controllers. Okay, so that's the tools. I'm gonna need to put it together. 
And then this is the rifle. So I'm guessing that's facing down. Uh, I'm guessing this is the front. And this is the back. It has some threads here. So we can screw it. So, does that go up there or down? It goes down. Okay. Okay. So it goes down. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. Oh, this is for attachments, I guess. So this stays stationary. I can't adjust that, but I can adjust the front one. Okay. Got it. So, how will this, okay, this slides in maybe? It's like a puzzle, slides up. Ooh, there we go. So that slides up and in, and then I'm assuming that this goes through there, maybe? Oh yeah, and screws, okay. So this can adjust the height. Now I wonder if you can adjust the length of the butt because I think I pull this down so with a slide that seems to make sense there you go so you gotta apply a decent amount of pressure to slide this in and out now I am short so I'm gonna need it way back there and then even then I believe that's probably gonna be too long so we'll see how that works out Okay, and this probably goes right here. Yep, so that's nice and tight. And this is fairly tight right here. Uh, I anticipate though, I might put some black tape right there because I feel like if I am, you know, really active and I'm twisting this, I could easily twist this out of line because it's not fully tightened in the right spot. Or, oh, you know what? If I need to, okay, I can adjust my controller to the side and then, you know, but still I might tape this or I might want another way to lock and secure this in place at whatever angle I'm wanting my front hand to be. Okay. And, We'll move this up and we'll work on the controllers here. So I have the Oculus Quest and they sent me the Oculus Quest attachments. Okay, which is front and which is back. Now there's a video that shows you this, but I don't remember exactly what the video says, so I'll figure it out. So this is the left controller. Uh, my left controller goes in the front and yes, okay. Left control in the front, right control in the back. So we'll do that. Now, let's just open these up first. Uh, let's see. Like that, no, right there, okay. Maybe, okay. I was about to say, did they not give me the right size? So maybe there might not have been room to have hand fasteners here. Because this looks like it's a pretty tight space here. There we go. So that opens that up. Uh, and there are, well, I guess you can put heavier magnets in there if you wanted or needed to. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of space in there that you can put more magnets in if you needed to. Okay, so is, does this go to the back or the front? What makes most sense? So it's going to flip up like this. And... I think this goes to the front. Yeah, I guess this goes to the front. So. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. We'll find out shortly. Now, how does this, so this, the magnets would need to go there. Oh, oh, that's okay. It's kind of angular right there. And. 
That is up. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think this goes. So I'm going to hold mine to the side like this, like this. And so that's probably how that goes. And so if I hold, that's, so I want mine as far up as possible, probably. Because normally I hold mine straight up and down. And uh, right now I have tape at the top here, so I don't think that it's designed to be at the top anyway. But even if it was, I think the tape at the top probably throws it off. I think I'm getting uh, a new controllers. If your Oculus controller is broken at specific spots, uh, they may warranty it uh, because they say that it's a manufacturer defect. Uh, look up a video on that. Maybe I'll link it in the description here. So I'm gonna put this as high as possible without it wanting to open up on me. That's about as high as I can go, I think. Yeah, because then once I get higher, then it opens up because it's not meant or designed to go directly at the top of the controller. So I'm gonna move mine as high up as possible and that's about as high up as it can be. So we're gonna lock that in place. Maybe. There it is. That up. Oh, okay. It's not quite going into the hole. Let's fix that. So I'm going to have to squeeze it pretty hard to make sure that the screw goes where it needs to go. There we go. Because I was tightening it and the gap between there was widening, which means that I was pushing oh, the two ends apart. Oh, nice if that's magnetized. Because I almost dropped it. There we go, nice and secure. That goes right there. Okay. Starting to look good. Oh, feels oh, that feels a little wobbly. Let's see what's going on with that later. Okay, and then this, well, let's just open it up and see where it should go. Oh, up top there. So if it's gold, if it's gold right there, you don't screw there. You screw where it's black. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. That should be it. Yeah, that's loose enough. Oh, it comes all the way out. So I wasn't sure if it came all the way out or not. So be careful of that these do come all the way out. Okay, so that opens up there. I believe it goes on backwards like that. Because I hold, hold on, I hold this controller like this. So we'd want. Hmm, where would it be? So, oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm holding this controller like this. So, how I'd want that to, I guess, be right at the top is where I'd want it. But maybe, I don't know, it's right at the top. See, that's wobbly. See that? So, we'll see if we can put this at the top. Maybe it's designed for that. It does not appear to be designed for any part of it. What's going on? Okay. Maybe I have it on backwards. Top there. Let's see if that's it. 
Uh, that looks like, oh, yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, so it fits in right there. Okay, there we go. And so I'm going to put that right in the middle here. Yeah, there we go. Again, looks like I'm going to have to squeeze pretty tight. Okay, and it's locked in, and it looks like I put that pretty close to the center. And let's see. Okay, oh, and that fits right in there, right against the stock. Now, this seems wobbly. This really seems wobbly. We'll see what's going on with that. Okay, but this is how it's put together, it appears. Um, I'll set up a spot so that you can uh, watch me play uh, a game with it. And I'll set up uh, a camera to watch me and another camera to uh, watch the game. And we'll see how that goes. And maybe I'll show you what I need to do to adjust this wobble here. Because I don't feel like that's going to be acceptable. That's pretty loose. This is more sturdy. That's pretty loose up there. So we'll figure out what's going on with that. Okay. But that is the new Mark III.